Here's how you remove bad karma from your life. If you ever wondered, well, how do I clear my karma? How do I clean my energy? How do I set up for me to attract everything that I want in life and release old karma? Here's how you do it. This is Jake Ducey with jakeducey.com. You'll be amazed what happens when you learn how to release that energy, that karma, because you find yourself to feel more happy, more energized, more confident, new opportunities come to you. This is Jake Ducey with jakeducey.com and let's dive right into how to remove bad karma. Number one, forgive yourself. Forgive yourself. It's very important to understand that there's no karma in the way that we often perceive it to be. That there's some type of energy force in the universe that's out to get you and create negative circumstances in your life because maybe you did something wrong, you did something that you wish you didn't do, something bad happened, something negative happened, therefore you're going to be punished. It doesn't work like that. And we don't live in this world where we have an, a, an emotional, capricious God out there that's saying, you have bad karma now, you have good karma now. The purpose of life is to learn and the purpose of life is to grow. So if we fall along the way, it doesn't make any sense that we're punished for it. And so where does the real punishment come from? The real punishment comes from us punishing ourselves. It comes from you punishing yourself. You know, so often I talk to thousands of people uh, all the time for coaching people that are, are we have over 15,000 people that have went through all of our different programs. We've got the free success hypnosis, jakeshypnosis.com that'll teach you how to reprogram your subconscious mind. You can download that. I get emails every single day and people are always coming back to the common thread of I beat myself up too much. I'm too hard on myself. You got to forgive yourself. You're just here. You're learning. You know, you're, you, you want the best for yourself. So can you let go of the way you failed, the mistakes you made, the procrastinations you had, the bad relationship you got into, the mistake you made that you thought ruined your life? Can you just let it go? Can you feel in your heart right now just an overwhelming sense of love for your life and for yourself because you have came here and you've shown up. It's so much in and of itself that you show up every day. You're online looking for some awesome things to inspire you. Forgive yourself. Let it go. It's okay. It's over. It's gone. The biggest way that we create quote unquote karma, which is really karma is only resistance. It's resistance to feeling good in this moment. That's what karma is. And we say, oh, it's karma. No, it's us resisting feeling good in this moment. And the primary way we do that is we think we're not good enough, smart enough, too stupid. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. Oh, and we keep beating ourselves up. Let it go. Forgive yourself. Number two, forgive others. So every time that we can't forgive other people, what's actually happening? Like if you're upset at me for, for a sustained period of time, for a long period of time. Doesn't mean that you're not gonna be upset for a day or two or like have a time where you feel the emotions of an experience. That's normal, but when we're harboring it over a long period of time, it's becoming a habitual pattern. So when you're upset at me, how do you feel? Not good, right? It doesn't feel good. It doesn't feel good to be angry for a long period of time at somebody, to feel frustrated for a long period of time at, for somebody. And the result is, that it makes us feel bad, it makes you feel bad. And it's this thing that we don't properly identify. But that's where the term karma is often coming from, is that we feel this, uh, this overwhelming sense of unconscious bogging down energy out of that has been uh, created out of prior experiences that we've had with an ex-lover, with a boss, with a stranger, with some guy that cut you off, with your mom, with your dad being very annoying. Like It doesn't matter, right? It's like whatever it is, we feel this type of like disturbances in our energy field that can often come from interacting with other people. And it's not that forgiveness is making them right, it's that it's freeing you. It's allowing you to be free. And so my invitation to you is to 
Allow, think of somebody in your life that you've been harboring a lot of resentment or anger towards. Think of somebody like that. And my invitation to you is to pull out a sheet of paper and to write a letter of forgiveness that you release it. Now you don't need to give this to them. This is for you. Forgiveness is about you, not about them. And so writing that and allowing yourself to go through the emotions so that you can clear it because the, the, the resulting effect otherwise is that it's always this thing in your energy field. And when you let that go, you find all this freedom, right? Like Wayne Dyer, the famous thought leader, one of the most famous thought leaders ever sold 50 million copies of his book, Erroneous Zones. His career didn't pick off. He had a uh, didn't take off. He had a father that was never around. He was in prison. He was an alcoholic. He never showed himself to, to Wayne growing up. Wayne felt all this anger towards this guy and it seemed just, it's justified. This guy was never in his life. You know, he'd never shown up for any family functions. He never gave his, his mom any money to help out. It seemed justified. But Wayne was turning 40 and he realized like, all of his life, he was so angry at this guy. He'd wake up in hot sweats and unconsciously he felt all this anger towards him. And it wasn't until he could forgive this guy that he finally, his career took off. His career took off the next year. When he forgave this guy, he found out his father was dead. He went to a cemetery and he said, quote unquote, he was going to go pee on his grave. But when he got there, he had this overwhelming sense of, I need to forgive this guy. And Mark Twain has a quote of forgiveness. He says that forgiveness is the fragrance that's released when a heel steps on the butt of a rose. And after Wayne did that, he wrote his book, Erroneous Zones, in a couple days. It just had this huge creative surge coming through him because all this emotion was released. And my invitation to you is to let something go. It doesn't make them right. It doesn't mean you even need to communicate with them, but it means you let yourself free from the situation. Number three, just to recap, realize that there's no karma as such. There's only resistance that we consciously or unconsciously, that you consciously or unconsciously are creating in any moment resistance to the ever flowing source of well-being. So often it's from us beating ourselves up, I'm not good enough, oh you idiot, oh this, or it's us being resentful at another person or situation. But when we can accept it for what it is, it is what it is. There's not much we can do about it, it is what it is. Harvest the good out of it and forgive the rest. We put ourselves in a position to be free. All this karma is released. What is karma? It's bogged up energy. It's a blockage in energy. And it's keeping us in a holding pattern of stress or anger or unconscious fear. And when we can release that, there's, we create the energetic space for more good things to show up in our life that we didn't that we didn't see before. So I hope this speaks to you. Download my free success hypnosis, jakeshypnosis.com. It'll reprogram your subconscious mind for success, abundance, and prosperity. And it works because when you understand that 95% of your life is subconscious and you can change that pattern plan in the subconscious, you can change the results in your life. So press the subscribe button in the corner, comment where in the world you're coming from. I'm in Maui. I hope that you're having an amazing day and this video truly speaks to you. Thank you for watching. I'll see you on the next video.